Hello everyone, I am Ghulam Abbas. I hope you guys are fine and doing great. When Microsoft announced that they are not going to support the Windows 7 anymore, many computers were useless because most of them were not supporting the latest version of Windows and if they were supporting, it's not going to work properly. Aside from that, those people who knew how to navigate, how to use Linux, they simply moved from Windows into the Linux environment. But the other computers were mostly put onto the shelf. So, what is the solution? Apparently, Google acquired a company called Neverware. Uh, it was a company which was basically uh, based on the Chromium operating system. Uh, you know, Chromium, Chrome OS is the operating system which is built, uh, which is coming with the Chromebooks. Apparently, many students or uh, you. Uh, school students and uh, college students are using this computer but in the meantime when google has announced that chrome os flex is arriving into the market and it is specifically available for the old computers or old hardware it is quite good amazing and it is also really simple the installation is simple it works simple and most of all for the first time Google has entered the market of schools and businesses and enterprises. So anyone, now there is the option of Mac, Windows and Chrome OS aside from Linux. So without wasting a lot of time, let's go ahead into the process of how you can get the uh, Chrome OS Flex, specifically how to create it, how to move on or how to try it for the first time inside your computer. So the first step is that you need to uh, at least purchase or prepare an RGB of USB flash drive which I have already prepared and attached it to the computer. Aside from that you need the browser of uh, Google Chrome or the browsers that are based on the Google Chrome. For instance there is Microsoft Edge, Opera, Brave and other uh, browsers available on the web. For the second step, you have to install the extension. Uh, click on the three dots icon at the top right corner of your screen and click more tools and now choose extensions. From there you have to click on the hamburger menu in the left side and now choose open Chrome Web Store. Once it is open, you have to search for uh, Chromebook Recovery Utility and press enter. Once it is uh, appeared, you have to open it and you have to add it right away into the browser. After that it is added, you have to click on the settings here and simply pin it to the top. As you can see, it is pinned there. So for now, I'm going to close the other tabs which are not required. Now click on the recovery extension tool or the Chromebook recovery utility. You can see that it has launched. Now you can simply close the window or the browser that is not needed anymore from there you have to simply click on get started oh by the way i have already attached a usb flash drive to the computer now click get started you need to select a model uh, for now you have to select click select a model from a list select a manufacturer for now i'm going to select chrome os flex and the product has also chrome os flex remember that uh, google has basically announced or provided a list of the manufacturers where Chrome OS Flex is going to work properly and the list of the models and the computers which are not going to work properly into their official website. All the links will be available in the description. You can check that out from there if your computer is available among those devices or not. But for now, Chrome OS Flex is the good option for me. But if you can find uh, your own model you can also check it out here and then select the model and click continue following that you need to select the usb flash drive which i have already added to the computer and now click continue okay at the moment if i have to click create now it's going to create a recovery image now this part is really important you need to have a very fast internet connection because it is going to download i think around uh, 1 gb of files from the internet and then it's going to uh, after downloading it's going to erase the USB flash drive following that 
it is going to create a bootable USB of Chrome OS Flex inside your computer. Now this part is going to take a while and it also depends on the internet connection that you have. So for now I'm going to pause the video here and so once it is done I will be back with you guys. Downloading the recovery image took around 20 minutes, but at the moment uh, it is writing it or basically you can say it is creating the bootable USB and uh, copying the recovery image into the USB. So it's going to take a while again. Once it is done, we'll be ready for the next step. At the moment you can see that it is done the recovery media is ready now you can click on done restart your computer and then press the boot key of your pc and try the chrome os flex for the first time at the moment everything is ready to go all you have to do is restart the computer and boot into the bios and check out the chrome os for the first time so uh, i am going to boot into the boot menu from the uh, right from here without pressing any boot key so all you have to do is click on the power button let me have to zoom it there so you can see what do i mean and then on the keyboard you need to press the shift key and press uh, or click on the restart now it is going to restart the computer into the uh, I do not remember what it's called but uh, I think it's called uh, what options or something I'm really sorry I do not remember the name so wait a moment until it appears yeah I am talking about this screen uh, I have not remembered what it's called, but I'm really sorry from here You need to choose the second option, which is uh, this one. Let me have to zoom it again So you can see what do I mean? Yeah, I am talking about use a device choose it and From here you need to choose one of these options uh, By default you will not see this uh, Linpus light For the first time you will see EFI USB device in any case uh, for now I will choose this option and wait a second until it should boot the computer into the Chrome OS. Okay, right now you can see it is the logo of Chrome OS Flex. Let me zoom it so you can see. Yes. This is the logo of Chrome OS Flex. Okay, it is the welcome screen of Chrome OS Flex. You can see this is the welcome screen which is written fast, secure, effortless and there is the language. I don't know if you can see it clearly. Uh, okay. This is the built-in Chrome uh, the voice reader like the narrator on Windows. It is called Chrome Vox. For now I'll choose no continue and as I said there is the language and there is the accessibility and uh, at the bottom you will notice there is written get started. So you have to click on get started as I am doing right now and for the next step here you are start using chrome os flex you have two options of install chrome os flex or try it first so uh, i am not going to install it directly into my computer first i am going to use it i mean try it first so uh, simply choose the second option where's my mouse i cannot find it 
choose the second option you can see that there is a tick mark and aside from that you have to click on next okay now uh, this is the place where you have to connect your computer to a network so this return connect to network for now I have to I will I need to connect the computer to a network hold on please okay it is the Google terms uh, of services Google terms service you need to choose I mean agree to them here you can see that it is saying that these version of terms of service optimized for mobile viewing so basically you have to read them and in the end if you are okay with it you have to click on agree at the bottom so I hope you can see it uh, that's why it's taking a long time to just simply process so this is the step uh, where Chrome OS is asking who is using this this Chrome device so at the moment you have to choose it is you it is not a child if it's a child it's going to uh, you will get a limited edition or a limited features of the Chrome OS flex but for now you have to choose you or at the bottom you have the options to choose the guest uh, OS I don't know if you can see it or not clearly let me to focus it again there is the focus option and there is also the enterprise uh, enrollment and there is the install Chrome OS flex so uh, I'm not going to choose any of them except for the Chrome OS guest so click on it let me I have to pin it I hope you can see once you clicked on it you have to wait okay as you can see this is the guest edition of Chrome OS Flex that was the Google Chrome and you can see that this is the interface of Chrome OS Flex uh, this is the menu from the left screen here you can see that this is the menu there are the options as you can see uh, the, basically it is quite clear and amazing and there is the settings the Linux application you can install it you can access the files if I have to click on it you will notice that uh, it has brought the my files directory where there that there is the samsung ssd 860 evo that is uh, that computer's hard drive and currently the files that you are looking it is basically the uh, files of the usb flash drive so let me have to record the screen i hope it should be saved on the usb flash drive okay as I said earlier that in the left side so this is the start menu of the Chrome OS Flex it has round round shapes which is quite cool you can search tabs application or whatever but at the moment we you cannot see or you cannot find the Google Play Store in this edition of the Chrome OS Flex so but there is the Chrome Google Chrome you can search and try to install it but I don't think you will be you you can't you can install there is also the camera options explore and other things aside from that one uh, it is also the same thing but in the left side you will notice that it has a lot of uh, other options let me I have to take so these are the options here you can see that uh, it has Wi-Fi you can see and there is the Bluetooth option the notification center if you click on it and the current notifications that are available and aside from that there is a screen capture which I at the moment I am recording with it and I am hoping that the video should be saved within the uh, USB flash drive so I can edit the video and it should look clear at, with the camera even though I have it it's not looking very clear to me I don't know how it will look to you when you are recording and seeing it on YouTube so there is also if you click on it uh, the slider here you can see that it is basically uh, the light or yeah the darkness there is also the other settings these are basically the uh, settings of the chrome OS flex which is quite cool and it is amazing 
apparently any college student can use this uh, Chrome OS Flex which uh, Chrome OS Flex since they are not doing a lot of heavy work such as using PowerPoint or other stuff even though PowerPoint cannot be installed here but uh, Google's uh, Google Docs can be installed here even the offline version will do the job of small words so that's why this uh, operating system is built for uh, old hardware so I am hoping that this video is really helpful to you and let me know your thoughts in the comment section and do not forget to subscribe the channel. Have a nice day, goodbye and I will meet you guys in the next video.